वेलकम बैक टू दिस कोर्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन टू लैब्स वेयर वी हैव डन लिटिल बिट ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग एंड वी सॉ दैट हाउ द मशीन कैन बी ट्रेन एंड हाउ यू कैन यूज आई बी एम वॉटसन टू बिल्ड योर मॉडल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी the generative ai yes the generative ai chat gpt bard and you are must have used gemini so today we will see that how these generative ai tools works and how we can make our own lab using ibm watson ibm has recently launched a generative ai tool known as watson x so we'll be using this service of ibm watson today watson x and we'll be doing little bit of prompt engineering so let's start with it so to begin with let's go to the resources in the previous section we have already seen that how you can add a resource how you can log in into the cloud so we are not going to log in and do all these things again let's i'm just deleting the cloud object storage which we have made before so let me delete this cloud object storage which we have made before though we will be requiring it but we will make it again for so that we can see from the very scratch and then we start this ibm watson studio we have already used this ibm watson studio before so we are not going and seeing that how to use it you can refer to the previous videos now after opening this watson studio what you have to do is launch in in the previous lab we launched an ibm cloud pack today we will use this service of ibm watson x so we we'll launch in ibm watson x so this is here where we use a generative ai it is saying for take a tour so let's skip we do not want to take a tour then it says that project so we click on create a project now what type of project we are going to do today is the first project which we'll do is sentiment analysis so let's name it sentiment analysis what is this project about it will tell whether the review is positive or negative so the project is going to tell you about that whether you have input a review it is positive or negative so let's write now it ask over here that you have to add a storage why it is asking that you have to add a storage because we have deleted the storage which we are having so let's create a cloud object storage by clicking on add remember to choose the light plan that is the free plan and you can give some name to the storage we are using it for sentiment so let's call it sentiment and click on create so this will create an object storage for us where the project details can be added once it is created let's click on refresh this will now you can see that storage has been added that is cloud object storage if you wish you can go for advanced settings and you can mark it as sensitive and allow reporting so we will not make it on we will put it on off only and we will click on create project so let's click on create project now this is building the project for us and this is a prompt project that is a prompt engineering where you give something and you ask for the prompt that what shall be the output that is part of generative ai so depending upon the speed it takes some time now it is ready we have made the project in the previous labs we added the assets for trainings and all over here we just have to click with experiment with foundation models and brim prompts so we experiment with the prompt it says that no watson machine learning service associated so we have already made a watson machine learning service we we'll just associate that service with our project so click on that service we have already added it in the resources in the previous video and now the machine has been added this service has been added now getting back to this we go back to the overview of the project again click on this model now after reaching over here 
remember that there are certain sample prompts on the left hand side so click on this left hand side and you can choose what type of prompt you want to use what type of project you want to build so we are using a classification sentiment classification for the time being we are focusing on sentiment classification now what is the sentiment classification this model has been trained in such a way that it will give the results that whether your reviews a customer has made the review whether this review is positive or negative so to have certain reviews let me take the help of chat gpt so i'll open the chat gpt and i've already asked a question to the chat gpt if you can say that see over here that generate 10 reviews for me for any product and classify them as positive or negative so chat gpt has already generated these reviews five positive and five negative so let me choose a positive review from here i select this positive review and i go back to my prompt lab and i as it add an example over here this is an optional field even if you do not add it as an example this will work because the model has already been trained the model has already been trained but we are still adding certain examples so that we get much better results and one example i add for negative so if you read these examples you can come to know very easily that it is a negative and it is a positive so let's read the examples also to know to it the battery life on things is impressive i can go on all day without needing to recharge so this is a positive classification i found the charging port to be a bit flimsy after just a few use it started to become loose so it is a negative now let's see that if i give certain review over here what will the model generate so let's take a positive review which chat gpt has said that this is a positive review now i give this review to this r model the built-in microphone works like a charm and hands-free calls i can have clear conversation without having to pick up the phone definitely a game changer so this is a positive review let's see what this r model generates for this review so it will take certain time and it says that it is a positive review so it means that the prompt lab which is given by ibm for sentiment classification under this model is working fine with our prompts so you can use this in your projects you can use this model in your projects you can save it as we have seen in the previous videos and you can use it now let's see another thing over here that there are different models which are presented in this lab with us and you can see there are different models approximately we have 14 models we can see so we used flan model now let's use another model that is uh, granite model now this granite model the theory of this granite model is also available over here every detail is available it intended uses for chat and classification extraction so we are definitely using it for classification so we use a granite model and we choose select model so it is in a constructed state 11th april it would be not available but for the timing it is available now we see that for the same input what does this granite model does that whether it is giving correct output or whether it will give the wrong output so let's click on generate and we see that granite model has also given the correct output so in this way you can use it for your research also you can try different models which are given over here and you can see that which model is giving you the better output so let's use another model that is known as mtxxl let's see the use so it is used for intended model spanish it is written it comes in shapes how to use gpu limitations prompt engineering translate english model or model so let's see whether this model is suitable for this type of classification and all or not so let's generate for the same output so it also gives 
the same output and it gives other reasons also that how much input can set has done and 40 percent and how much time it has taken so it took 2.1 seconds you can see over here that it took 2.1 seconds similarly we can make different research papers we can write that these are the different models which were trained and what was the time taken by different models so this can be greatly used for research purpose also for sentiment classifications this is an unsafe project let's save it. the project give you so you can save it in different ways therefore i was i'm saving you can save it as a notebook where you can use it further by downloading the notebook and you can put your prompts you can put your engineering in it or you can put it as a prompt template where the save the content prompt only without its history and it saves with history it saves whatever you have done as a history so let's save it as a notebook and we say that we are using it for sentiment analysis analysis and it generates positive or negative review view in project after saving we do not want to view and we just click on save so this project has now been saved for us and we have saved it as a notebook we have saved it as a notebook so this is how we work for the projects and if we click on this projects over here we can see eight minutes ago this project was available if i click over here we can see the project will open and we have already worked for this and you can launch id for this and other things you can again see what was the project history you created for sentiment analysis how much the resource usage in this project how much tokens were used and all details are also available for this and this is the notebook which we have already assets we said that we are using it as a notebook and you can import this notebook to your system you can import this notebook as a local file and you can take it as a data asset and you can import this drop files here and you can use it for your labs so this is how we saw that we can use this prompt engineering from ibm so keep on exploring keep on learning more and in the next video we'll be seeing that how text can be generated we'll be seeing a small prompt where some text would be generated depending upon our input like chat gpt is generating so keep on watching and learning generative ai and artificial intelligence with me